Kingston. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last weekend, journalist and noted electoral reform advocate Andrew Coyne criticized the Liberal schedule for the Committee on Electoral Reform. Quote, the very tightness of the timeline feeds suspicions that the Liberals are trying to rig the process in favor of their own allegedly preferred reform model. End quote. Nonetheless, the short timeline does give the Liberals enough time to conduct a national referendum in 2017 after they introduced their final proposal. So, keeping this in mind, will they use the available time to hold a national referendum and give Canadians the final say? Almost the Secretary for Democratic Institutions. Well, Mr. Speaker, let me quote the member opposite in uh, 2014 when the Unfair Elections Act was being rammed through with no consultations, when the opposition parties weren't being engaged at all and expert witnesses weren't being listened to. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker, you didn't say anything. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm glad that there's a change of heart and that we want to see uh, Canadians be engaged, and there's a process for that. We have a committee uh, working with the member opposite. I hope he's going to take the opportunity to hear from Canadians and ensure that that process is as valid as it can be. Hey, Honourable Member for